Hey, hey, how's it going? David Taub here with Epic Guitar Instruction. Hope all's going well, and I hope your guitar and musical journeys are going famously. Today you're going to learn the song Walk on the Ocean by Toad the Wet Sprocket, and this is from their 1991 album Fear. And I've been receiving a lot of requests to do a Toad the Wet Sprocket song, so we're going to tackle Walk on the Ocean today, and I'm going to get you playing this one really fast, because with the capo there's no bar chords, and it's only two progressions and about a handful of chords. Please excuse my um, congestion, my voice today. I know I'm really nasally, or I must sound pretty nasally. I've been under the weather uh, the past week, and um, that's why I haven't produced as many videos. But I'm starting to feel better, and um, I wanted to start getting some new stuff out there. So uh, here we go. Originally, the song was recorded in standard A440 tuning. So go ahead and tune your guitar, standard A440 tuning, low to high, E, A, D, G, B, and E, but put the capo at the fourth fret. So all the chords I'm going to show you, I'm going to give you the chord fingering or the voicings, uh, but just remember everything is relative to the capo. So like for instance, we're going to finger this G chord here, but that's not ringing out to the pitch of G because of the capo, right? That's actually ringing out to the pitch of B, right? The beauty of the capo. So the song is actually in the key of B major, and I've seen the band do this in different keys in, in, in various versions. Uh, more recently, the, they moved the capo down to the second fret, a whole step down. It's a little easier to sing that way. Um, and I've seen a lot of different transcriptions of the song, and a lot of them just aren't accurate. The, the, the thing is, the original recording is definitely standard tuning, capo fourth fret. The song starts right with verse one, and all the verses are pretty much the same. I'll show you the minor variation, and basically the song is all verses and choruses. There is like a little guitar solo, a slide guitar solo, like in the bridge section, um, but they're just playing the chorus card chords. So basically you just get these two sections down, you're gonna have the whole song. The biggest thing that, as far as challenge-wise, you might have is that the chords change pretty fast. So um, it's a short strumming pattern, you'll have to change chords quickly. So you'll probably find that the most challenging, but other than that, it's a pretty easy song. And if you find yourself having problems with these chord changes, I could really help you with that. Click on the link in the YouTube description box below. I'll send you a free video lesson and ebook on my essential chord playing and changing techniques. It's a fantastic killer extended play video. It's not on YouTube, but it'll really help you get your chord changes dialed in and speed them up and get them to where they're just totally on point. The video lesson has all kinds of technique tips and exercises that'll really get your chord playing blasted to the next level. And I'll pair it with an ebook, which has more chord charts in it, more exercises, more lessons. Fabulous one-two combination. Video lesson, ebook, I'll send them both to you for free. Just click on that link below. So the song kicks in right into the first verse. We spotted the ocean, right? So let me play you the entire first verse, then I'll go back and explain the chords and the strumming pattern. Sound like this. Right there on that E minor is where it goes into the chorus. Right, so let's go over the chords first. Starts right on that we spotted the ocean. G major, you could play it with the four finger G. Spotted the ocean, C add nine. Okay, you could play, instead of these C add nines, if you wanna play your straight C major chord, you could, but it's a little easier going. G, just drop down right to C add nine, back to G. So G, C add nine, G on ocean. At the head, you go to A major or you can play the A fifth chord, you just want to tap it with one finger like he does, um, or you can play that A with open high E. At the head of the trail, and trail you go E minor, C or C add nine, G, but where, on where you go to A, where are we going, you go back to G, C add nine, G on going, we're so, so far, that's a D over an F sharp, I'm getting the F sharp with my thumb over the top, you can't get it with your thumb, just play the D chord. So far away, away you go back to A, and then he does this little embellishment where he adds the sus4 with his pinky on the B string, right? Uh, so that's your A sus4. If you're playing it like this, you could use your third finger to add that A sus4. But 
basically like A, Ace of Sport, A. And then the next line of the verse starts, somebody told me, it repeats, but he changes a couple of the chords. Uh, somebody told me, you do that G, so I'm told, C at 9 G, that this, this you go to A, is the place, E minor again, same as the first time, but this time after the E minor, go to that D over F sharp, then G, kind of changes the walking bass line. Where everything's better on everything A, and then you're going to go to this G over B chord, C, G, so you got to get this movement instead of G, C, G. Um, so G over B is easy. It's like you're playing a G chord, except you remove your second finger. So you get the root note B. Well, it's not really a B note ringing out because of the capo, but we've been over that, right? So G over B, C add nine, G. And everything safe. D over F sharp, safe. You go to that A, A sus four, A. And then it goes into the walk on the ocean big E minor chord for the big chorus. And just so you know, on that G over B, on later versions of the song, he actually starts it with this, with that chord, to C add nine, to G. But on the original recording, he's G, C add nine, G. So he plays with that, versus that, right? But I'm, we're kind of recreating the original version. So the strum pattern in the verse is basically, you're gonna do this pattern. Uh, down, up, down, up. Okay? Change, down, up, down, up, change, down, up, down. Up. You want to get that down, up, down, up. down, up, down, up. You can do that on every chord. So if I do it slow for the first couple. difference is when you go to that A, A sus4 and A, the first time when you hit the A it's down, up, down, up, then add the sus4, down, up, down, up, then you go back to the A, he does the A twice, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. That's the only difference, the whole rest of the verse, it's just on each chord, down, up, down, up. So on that A chord, Then the next line starts, all right? And I recommend playing that verse slow at first because remember, the faster you're strumming that, the faster you're gonna have to change. And if you're not up to changing as fast yet, you know, it's gonna hold you back. So really slow things down and get them down really slow first. That's okay and the speed will come with time. That's all for the verses. And there's three verses in the song, they're all the same. The only difference is in the third verse that starts off now back at the homestead. That very last A chord in the last line of the verse, you just let it ring. You just hit it one time and let it ring. So the last few chords there would sound like this. So you just hit it once, let it ring. And then that starts that chorus outro, walk on the ocean on the E minor. Other than that, all the same. And please subscribe to the channel. You know, subscribing to the channel, that really helps us to keep bringing the content. And ring that subscription bell, because then you'll be notified when we have new lessons posted. Also, leave a comment below. Let us know how you like this lesson. Let us know what lessons you'd like to see coming up. And if you like the video, please click the like button. Uh, give it a thumbs up, share it, and thank you so much for your support. So that brings us to the chorus section, and that's that walk on the ocean, step on the stone, flesh becomes water, wood becomes bone. Let me play you the chorus. I'll play you the first chorus. It'll sound like this, and I'll go back and explain it. Uh, walk on the ocean, right from the E minor. So going over the chords, um, a lot of the same chords you used before. Walk on the ocean, E minor, G. Step on the stone, is D over F sharp, and then A. Flesh becomes water, E minor, G. Wood becomes bone, D over F sharp, and then A. And you let that ring. Okay, the strumming pattern will 
is, is different than in the verses. We have to hold it a little longer. But you can get away with just this pattern and the one we did in the verses, and that's it for the whole song. So this pattern, we're going to do this. Down, up, down, up, down, down, down. kind of captures the vibe of the chorus, right? Um, and you could add walking bass lines to this too. It's a lot you could do with it. I'm just giving you the shell, right? The, the structure, the skeleton. Um, okay, so let me play you the chords uh, slow. It'll sound like this. That's all there is for the chorus, and there's three choruses in the song. Um, the second chorus is a double chorus, so he does the same progression except he does it twice. And then after that chorus, uh, it goes into this bridge like a slide solo. And all he's doing there is he's playing the same chorus chords, E minor, G, D over F sharp, and A, but he only does it three times, three times through. And you play it with that same kind of rhythm, same feel, and that goes into verse three. Now back at the homestead, which goes into the chorus outro, where they just keep repeating the chorus and it eventually fades out. So the way you could end the song is you could just kind of let that last chord ring. Maybe slow the strumming down as you approach it. like. You know, I'm ending on that just ringing A chord. That's pretty much the whole song. There you have it, Walk on the Ocean by Toad the Wet Sprocket. A lot of fun to play, easy one that you could add to your song catalogs. Have fun with it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Ring that subscription bell. That really helps us to keep bringing the content. Also, click on that link in the YouTube description box below. Get my free video lesson and ebook on the essential chord playing exercises, technique tips. Um, it's killer. Really get your chord playing and changing blasted to the next level. And if you want to check out some of my, my original music, I recently dropped a new record with my original band, Mind Cell. We're based out of San Diego, California. It's a slamming record. I'm totally stoked about it. Uh, I think it's some of the best music I've ever written. Um, it's streaming on all the platforms. I'll put links to that also below in the YouTube description box. You can also get the CD if you like, but check it out. Let me know how you like it. Let me know if you have any questions on the songs or the gear I use, the studio production. Love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching this video and thank you so much for your support over the years and years. So appreciated. Have fun with it. Keep up all that hard work on those guitars. Keep having fun with them. And remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. So enjoy the journey. Take care, rock on. See you in the next lesson. Mm -hmm.